Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 8th of 2020, well, it is titled Galaxies in the River. So what do we see here? Well, how can galaxies be in the river? Well, these are galaxies that are located within the constellation of the river known as Eridanus. And this is a winding constellation that stretches across the sky and represents a great river in the sky. Now, the galaxies themselves, we can see pictured towards the center here. We see a large spiral galaxy. And that is almost centered in this, perfectly centered in this image. That is the a large spiral galaxy, much like our own. And you cannot really see the spiral arms distinctly. And that is because we're looking at it from the edge. When we view galaxies edge on, it is very hard to see any of their structure. Whereas when we look at them face on, down at down at them from the top or the bottom from the bottom, then we can see the great spiral arms as we often see in a number of nice pictures of spiral galaxies. However, what we're looking at here, not only is that first galaxy, but also the second one just up above it here. And that is a, another galaxy, a smaller galaxy. And we are seeing a galaxy collision. And in this case, galaxy cannibalization, where the large spiral galaxy is slowly absorbing the smaller galaxy. And this is how galaxies grow over time. Galaxies start off very small, and we have seen this by looking at Hubble Space Telescope images that look back towards the edge of the universe and look out to the galaxies as, as they were shortly after the universe formed. And we find that they are not the large spiral and elliptical galaxies that we see today, but instead are much smaller, irregular galaxies, very blue galaxies. So lots of blue, lots of blue light. Uh, giving off very young, very star, lots of star formation going on. And over time, we have seen that they grow, that they grow through the cannibalization of much smaller galaxies. So they will absorb this galaxy and this galaxy, the large spiral galaxy will then begin to grow a little bit more. So galaxies continue to grow this way over time. And that is thing, something that our galaxy has done and that every other large galaxy in the universe has done to grow to its current size. So they started out with small galaxies and absorbed and cannibalized those galaxies, other small galaxies, to become the large galaxies that we see today. Now, you can see a couple of other galaxies around this image. If you look around, anything that's a little bit fuzzy or extended is really a galaxy, such as the one down at the bottom here. And most of the other objects that we see are stars within our own Milky Way galaxy. So you can see several stars here that happen to be in the same direction as this much more distant galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for January the 8th of 2020. It was titled Galaxies in the River. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Happy Perihelion. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.